Winter Soldier's new code name, Geek Squad Informants, and Amelia Earhart's Remains Discovered. I am Rob Onspach from Onspach Media, and welcome to Season 2, Episode 49 of What's Trending. Maybe I should call it Who's Sick Today, because honestly, I've been under the weather. Everybody in my house has been going through this sickness. I even have friends over the other side of the puddle in the UK that are suffering from whatever is ailing me, but they got it 10 times worse. My throat is killing me. So I apologize if I have a fit of coughing while I'm doing this. So if you're just tuning in, what I do is I take some of the trending subjects found on Facebook, give you my spin, my take, my thoughts, my opinion. Well, we got three of them. Let's just jump right in. Let's head over to Marvel's uh, in The Avengers. And it says, The Infinity War reveals Winter Soldier's new code name. Well, over the weekend, I saw Black Panther. And at the end credits, they actually revealed his new, new code name. So, you can either let me reveal it here, or you can close your ears and and not not here but in Black Panther at the end uh, one of the Wakanda tribe says to Bucky Barnes they call him White Wolf so going forward that is his new name I know sorry it's a spoiler but hey it's trending so I gotta reveal it ah, I need something now, I hope you never take your computer to uh, Geek Squad because it says documents show FBI paid Geek Squad staff as informants. The FBI paid Best Buy, which is the parent, the company that owns Geek Squad. They run it right out of their stores. And they paid the employees to act as informants. So when computers would go in to get repaired, the Geek Squad would report any nefarious things that they would find to the FBI. Not cool. Does not build trust with Best Buy's audience, and it kind of gives a, a bad taste uh, to the FBI. So, today they revealed... Excuse me, I got sneeze. Oh. Today, they revealed on International Woman's Day that they have likely discovered the bones of Amelia Earhart. And they'd actually discovered these in 1940, but I guess back then they didn't have the necessary DNA to test. It says new forensic analysis indicates that the bones found on a remote island in 1940 are very likely those of legendary American aviator Amer uh, Amelia Earhart. Now, her and Fred Noonan uh, disappeared on July the 2nd, 1937, and she was declared dead uh, on January 5th, 1939. I guess, you know, two years went by, there was a time period, they couldn't find her, and so they declared her dead. And then I guess someone found her remains a year later. Huh? I guess, you know, we'll never really know, but... You know, that's what, 80 years ago, almost? Anyway, moving on, right? Well, I can't move on. There's no more trends. That's it. So that's all I got today. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about what I do and how I help my clients, visit me at onspockmedia.com, where we revamped our own website. That's something, actually, we do for our clients. We build their websites. We create their social media content. We write their books. But we re revamped our own website to make it easier to navigate. So visit us on SpockMedia.com. That's it for the show. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go drink some soothing hot honey tea or something for my throat. And uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Adios.